Hello, welcome to the Maxis Show. I'm Bellatrix and I'm Narcissa. And after today we might not be alive anymore. So mm. ah! I know. Um, sorry for the people that if you've sent us comments because we haven't checked them for the past two days and we're going to continue to not read them until tomorrow after the book. So if you sent us a spoiler, <laughs> you failed. <laughs> and also sorry for the people that tried to contact us because you stand no chance whatsoever. Because yeah. But keep continuing to comment on videos, even though we've got 300 emails to go through at the moment. Yeah, it's not worth it for the spoilers. Anyway, um, we're going to go through some of our theories. So we're going to talk about who we think is going to live and who we think is going to die. And if we are writing every single one of them, we promise you we haven't read the spoilers. It's just because some of them are just brilliant. <laughs> okay, Voldemort. Die. die. Harry. Live. Who will live? Ron. Live. Live, maybe. Hermione. I think possibly die. She's not as good to bed to get star cuts. Yeah. Um, Ginny. I think Ginny will die. Uh, I think she could die. I think she's in the same Harry way as Hermione. Dies. If Harry dies, I think Ginny can die. But I think Harry can die and Ginny can live. I don't think Harry can live on his own, though. So if Harry lives, Ginny should live. Yeah. It's, yeah. Um, Hagrid. Die. I think he'll live. I think he'll live through it like he did last time. I don't I think know. he'll die. Uh, Neville. Die. Die. I think. Yeah. He's but, just a bit weak. Yeah, but with Neville, who's the other one? Luna. Luna, yeah. yeah. I think it's going to be Neville or Luna will die. Yeah. Because someone's meant to become a teacher, and it's meant to be someone that's not, like, someone that you'll be surprised by. And we thought Neville, but then if Neville dies, Luna can be the teacher. They're both a bit strange. Even though it's like Seamus or Dean, that's kind of, yeah. Mm, yeah, really care. Um, friend George? Live. Because we need a happiness at the end. Can't kill him. Uh, Arthur? Die. Die. Molly? Live. Live. Lupin? Die. Die. Um, McGonagall? Live. I think die. Um, Draco. Die. I think either he'll fake his death in the beginning. Which is apparently in the American version of the last book. Well, yeah, it's kind of hints it in the last book. Um, <laughs> we never got that. Or, um, he'll actually die. Mm. Um, <laughs> Lucius. Live. Die. I don't know, I think he'll be in Asgard about the first of his life. I think he's got to die. Bellatrix. Live. Die. Live. She'll die. Live. Mm. I can't think of anyone else that anybody can come up with. Well, with the Weasleys, we think the Weasleys. Yeah. Someone in the Weasleys have got to die, and we're thinking Arthur or Charlie. Mm. But why is the wedding in the book? We think something might happen at the wedding, like one Which of them might die the at the next wedding. Theory. Right, because so oh. someone was meant to be a traitor, and we thought it might have already happened with Marietta, but it might still be coming. Mm. Right, the thing is, um, about Fra, there's something weird about her, like there's a whole chapter about her and she doesn't really have any importance in the book and she's linked in with the Weasleys um, so well, so she has so much information about them. Um, also, if you think about Madame Maxine, she left Hagrid early with the Giants. Um, and not only that, that, the Death, Death Eaters up. got to where the Giants were, where mm -hmm. Madame Maxine led them to the Giants. Yeah. Also, on the front of the English book, they're wearing dress robes, which implies that they come straight from the wedding. Also, they look like they're at Gringotts, and both Bill and Fleur work at Gringotts. So, thinking that's where the Fleur thing comes into it, because she's a traitor and she's going to betray the Weasleys. Yeah, so we've had theories that Tonks is a traitor. I've read yeah. all the books, I can't find anything that says she's a traitor. But then, again, the American version is slightly different, because apparently yeah, she yeah. grabs her forearm at some point. Um, I was going to say, let us know if you find a bit where she grabs her forearm, but we're not reading really your comments. So. Yeah, Gryffindor is Dudley. Oh yeah, depends whether, um, yeah, because of like, God, your Gryffindor has red hair, green eyes. I don't know whether um, it passes down magical families or to the eldest, who could be a muggle, in which case it would be Petunia, and, and then Dudley. pass down to Dudley. Dudley has magical powers. One well, of does is... Well, only slightly, because people are saying, oh my god, he can go to Hogwarts. No, no, he's not powerful enough to do that. He has a slight magical power. Mm. Dudley's she said, Dudley's didn't Dudley's she say something like the beautiful, slight bit of magic? Yeah, later in life, life, in desperate yeah. circumstances. Yeah. Something's going to happen at Godric's Hollow. Oh, not Godric's Hollow. Prove a drive or little wing gym. No, I was going to say, 
Something, I, I didn't mention this in an early video, but something happened in Privet Drive before this like series. Yeah. I'm sure of it, because Dudley saw something with the Dementors, what did he see? He must have seen something. And Dudley, Dumbledore implied it. Yeah, you know, but you know the, uh, the trial, yeah. the, um, they say that they were really interested that there was a squib, because they said they've always monitored the amount of witches and wizards oh, yeah. living in Privet Drive, given past circumstances. circumstances. And uh, there's no one to power it because it's talking about the area, so maybe someone tried to attack Dudley before if he used like the air Gryffindor. <laughs>